Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and we are here for another tutorial on Splunk. Today we are going to see how we can set up Splunk alerts using Gmail. If you have your own SMTP server in your organization, very well you can configure with that. In the previous tutorial we have seen how to install Splunk apps. If you have not seen the video, kindly check out on my channel. To use Splunk alerts first step is to configure the email settings. For this go to settings, server settings, and click on email settings. We need to give the SMTP server and login details here. For Gmail we will be using smtp.gmail.com and port 587 when using email security TLS follow along. we create the alerts since we are using Gmail, you must be receiving alert from Google that it has blocked the unauthorized sign-in account as you see on the screen. To allow Splunk to use Gmail account, you need to allow or enable less secure app access in Google. time to create alerts. Go to search and reporting app, if you already have alerts it will be listed under alerts tab. To create a new alert, run a search query as per your condition and from the save as drop down option select alert. Give a name for the alert, set the permission for the alert whether it's only for the single person or shared app, select scheduled and duration to trigger the alert. I will use cron job and you can check out more on how to use the cron in the video description. Select the trigger condition, 
we will use number of results. If the result from the search is more than once the alert should be triggered. Select once or for each result. Now we have to set the trigger action when the result is more than zero. First we will select add to triggered alert, this is to see the status of alerts triggered. We will add another action which is to send email. If you are using 60 days trial version of Splunk, once the license is expired alerts will not be working. Now we have created the alert, you will be able to see the newly created alert under alerts tab in search app. Also you will be able to see the alert triggered under activity, triggered alerts. We will wait for the alert to send the email. Great. The email is received to email account defined in the alert as you see on the screen. It gives the link to the search output which you will be able to click and go directly to it. If you use attach CSV file, it will attach the output as CSV file in email. If you want to make any changes to existing alerts, you can do that under alerts tab. You can disable, enable alerts, you can also click on edit to make changes to all the settings. Thank you for watching, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so and like the video.